Hello, it's James Cook from Cloud and DevOps with James Cook. I am here to show you today how to create a service help alert in Azure. First, we need to go to the help and support link in Azure and from here, select service help. From within the service issues, click the create service health alert. Here is the scope where we want to monitor the subscription we want. We can only select one subscription at a time. So at the moment I'm setting the subscription that I want to monitor the service health for this rule. In conditions, select the service you want to alert on. Here at the moment, all 235 services are selected. Maybe I just want to be selecting, if we look for app service, maybe I want app service and web apps. And then in regions, what regions you want to be alerted on, you do not want to be alerted on every region. Maybe you have app services in West Europe helps if I remove all the selections, West Europe and North Europe. So you can select multiple regions and let's say UK, South and West. So I've selected the regions where I have my services, event types. At the moment, if service issue is the default selection, maybe I want planned no maintenance. So I know when things are planned and we got um, that marks above what going to be working on health advisories and security advisories. If there's anything in regards to health and security uh, that might pop up and marks I can recommend on. I hit the actions and I can either select an existing action group, which I don't have any, or I can create an action group. So what we're going to do is create an action group, create a new resource group where this is going to be stored. Um, you can use an existing resource group from the drop down, or, or you can create a new one. So I'm just going to call this one the um, rules action. Uh, let's change that to action groups. There we go. Region. Um, I'm going to just leave the default as global. My action group name, so I'm going to call this um, email James. The display name, uh, email James. Brilliant. So we're going to go to notifications. So either I can say email Azure resource manager roles. So this will be anyone with these type of roles. Or I can select email, SMS, message, push, or voice. From here, I can add an email address, an SMS, a mobile app notification to a email address associated to that uh, app, or a voice call. For this purpose, I am just going to email the owner owners. So at the moment, the owners would be me and others, and then enable the common alert schema, which I will. Yes, you can set no. But I've got to give a name to this notification type. So what we'll be calling it is owners role. Then I'll click actions and I can say an action if I want to. So you could say it to trigger off an Azure function or webhook. Webhooks are handy for things like Slack notifications. Um, or I can automate a run book, yeah, or a logic app, yeah, that um, triggers and it will then action a uh, specific thing. But for this purpose, I just want email alerts about uh, service health. So actions is not needed. I could tag my, uh, my action group. So for this purpose, I'm just going to call it action groups. Value James. And when I click review and create, I can then create the action group, which I will then use for 
alert. Here we go. So here I've got my action group, email James, one email to Azure resource manager role. In details, I can select the resource group that the rule will exist in. Create a new group called rules. And in the alert rule name, I'm just gonna give it um, service health alerts email. I can give it a description, which I will not for this example. And in advanced options, I can create uh, custom properties and I can also enable alert rules upon creation, which will enable, because I would want it uh, working as soon as I create it. Tag the alert rule, so alert rules and the value, I'm gonna call it James. So I know that I own that rule. Review and create, hit the create button. And there you go. It has been created and to see that alert rule, what you gotta do is select health alerts and here it is. Service health alerts email, services that is um, monitoring, the regions is monitoring, the event types, the target scope, which subscription we're monitoring. Again, if you have multiple subscriptions, you will want to set up multiple alerts and the status of it enabled. We can go into it and go into the resource level and there you go. We can do more with uh, this type of alerting. Like I say, we can set triggers, we can set severities so that it go in, into your uh, scene product here yeah, with a severity level. We can get to externally alert into platforms like Slack and, um, in, and create tickets in your ticketing system. I hope that helps and remember to subscribe and like the video. Catch you in the next video.